Uh, I will seek to prove in my speech that the problem is not only with the players who took these steroids and that this is an important factor in this debate. Uh, as Bryant Howard wrote in, from ESPN.com, uh, the front office executives and field staff were all culpable and did nothing without being forced. And this uh, goes to show that a lot of the people who were taking steroids were taking steroids in an environment where it was okay to do it. And so to turn around and to simply punish them with no tolerance is not a good way of uh, treating these people who really had no choice in the kind of environment they ended up playing in. Secondly, uh, further punishments on top of what we have right now would be excessive and gratuitous and may be uh, counterproductive in actually helping the future of baseball. I have a, another quote by Brian that uh, steroids were available from thousands of sources and in terms of punishment, the public shame and legal action are sufficient. We have to consider that because, as uh, the affirmative side said, these steroids and substances are illegal. They are punishable by legal action and therefore if in fact jail time is given, this is in addition to whatever the uh, Major League Baseball would give these uh, players. Therefore, a first year offense would lead to a, an entire year ban which could be followed by an entire year in jail. Uh, theoretically. Third of all, as a commercial sport, baseball is dependent on many of these, par these uh, current players who have been caught up in the whole uh, <coughs> substance abuse fad. And this can't really be compared to something like the Olympics. The Olympics are more of a political uh, showcase of different athletes and the countries and so zero tolerance can be uh, more important there than say baseball which is far more commercial dependent on the money and uh, and uh, actually quite dependent on the sort of players that steroids have created in this steroid era. Uh, the problem is also more prevalent than initially obvious. Uh, the solution cannot be hurried because it is far more deep-reaching than may have originally been thought. <laughs> Most people seem to be under the impression that uh, the majority of steroid users are all the heavy hitters that, uh, you know, hit home runs, after home run after home run, but uh, uh, I have a quote here from ESPN, uh, ESPN that the sudden resiliency of relief pitchers also is suspect. Of the top 30 all-time single season leaders in appearances, 85 or more, 16 have come during the post-strike era, which is also known as the steroid era. Uh, harsher punishments will undermine the MLB itself and not deal with underlying problems. Uh, Van Alkis writes that the most serious maladies affecting America's pastime will not be cured by Mitchell's proposal for expanding or for expanded drug testing. Uh, there are undercurrents and unknowable <coughs> ramifications that would be caused by cutting out this large number of possible steroid using people uh, without considering what made them in this way and not allowing them to ease off of uh, the current situation. And uh, finally, uh, it was stated that uh, almost it seemed to be implied that all baseball players do steroids because baseball players hold about the steroid issue cannot be uh, seen as reliable sources since they are in fact the problem. But not all baseball players do steroids, and many honest players have their honest names sullied by association just by being in the steroid era and not having done anything about it. So if 
you can't trust these people who are directly hampered and hindered by the situation, then I don't see how the media could be any more reliable since the media is what supports this industry that has cultivated this hyper-competitive environment that revolves around the uh, heavy-hitting uh, targets of the uh, steroid witch hunts. 